da da. Let me give you a hand. Oh, that is sweet and thoughtful of you. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> no breath freshener needed there. Justin Bradley. In these doors is Roger Michael, club promoter to the stars. Can he live much longer without me? Not a sign of people who want people. Where's yes, thank you. I've seen enough. Can I ask you to leave? Ring a ding, sleep well. We'll thank the small hotel. Can you believe it? Thrown out because the guests were complaining that my cleaning is not up to standard. But never mind, I have an idea. A book. Confessions of a Chambermaid. Taxi. What is she like? Joining me now is Leslie and the editor of Company Magazine, Fiona McIntosh. Fresh, I'm sure, from being flung out of that hotel. What were you like? <laughs> uh, yes, we were there all day, I will say. It was rather an enjoyable day. You know what was so frightening about the whole thing was they were all about the age to be my sons. I, I mean, know, that's really a scary thought. But they were charming. They were rather gorgeous, <laughs> I have to say. Rather gorgeous, especially and to get, James Bond, Mr. Frank. Yeah, and to get so many of them. I know. At the same time. I know. A dream 50 job. eligible bachelors. <gasps> I mean, woman's dream come oh, true. Wonderful. <laughs> Fiona, how on earth did you pick them? Well, um, it's an annual event in company now. Right. So um, it's got to the point now it's snowballing year after year. So we're surrounded by photographs and vital statistics oh, and inside leg measurements. <laughs> I mean, it's hell, but somebody has to do it. <laughs>